try this again. Oh, this is difficult. Why won't you let me type? I've had 15 billion fucking goddamn motherfucking interruptions just trying to do this one fucking... And it won't fucking... God damn it! Fuck it. I know what I gotta do. I... Oh, shit. This shit's still recording. Uh... I swear to God. I can't, like, like do something in, like, one go. I gotta... It's always gotta be six or seven tries. I don't understand why. I don't fucking want to know why. But... You know, let's try this. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I got this shit up here and whatnot, but it's the only way to get it to fucking work. It's gonna get to work. This is based on creepy pastas of the SPCs. And you know what? <sighs> I should fucking... It's kinda cool. Cause I'm gonna be in a creepy pasta kinda... Sorta. And when I like listen to these things, I like, I'm always like, damn, it'd be fucking cool as shit to be in one of these things, like in real life. So I should probably narrate this whole thing like a fucking creepy... And I should have the fucking piano sounds from Mr. Creepy Boston too. Fuck, <laughs> I won't go all out. Fuck it. It's placed on the face of an individual and alternates brave waveforms from... Uh, IC ICP-035. This is very... Philosophical when they're sober for once. I had wakened in my bed. I didn't know where I was. The walls were white. There was a heavy door keeping me imprisoned. All I had was a shitter, a sink, and a table with a handprint icon on it. And a single light bulb. These were dark times. One of the first things I noticed was the tile floor and how feng shui it was to my bed which somehow magically floated on one leg. I also remembered how much of a burden it was to blink, like now. I went over to the paper to inspect it. It looked new, freshly printed. I went to read it. As soon as I went to read the note... I read the note! I said. It... It still will not be befall before my eyes! To read, please memorize your designated as a staff will refer to it from now on. Uh, I said in my mind. I got some work for you. Do me a favor and step out of yourself. And Just then two daft punk oh, fucking way, men. We're authorized to kill any disobedient test subjects, so don't try anything stupid. I said as he said, she said, as they carried pussy 9mm submachine guns. Another thing I noticed as the alarm went off. Crew. I believe their boots were made of metal as they clinked heavily. They walked very funnily down the hallway as if they had taken some foreign objects and inserted into the structure. I went through a tube that reminded me of an anus as the two fuckboys behind me had a discussive discussion about pizza and french fry. guys were so fluffy that they made the whole environment really slow. Yeah, look, no offense, but I've already lost it. I saw a button, and I tried to press it. But nothing happened. I thought that the intercom said faculty. I thought that was offensive. Well, we're here. Just get in there and follow all the instructions, and uh, you'll probably be fine. He said as I thought they were probably going to be a prostitute. I looked at my fate, and it looked at me. As we stepped inside the containment center, instead of whatever. I was joined by Debo and Steve Wilkos. Steve Wilkos went immediately to slap him upside uh, the head. There seems to be a problem with the door control system. The Debo doors stood by, to ready to pounce, to and close said like this. So, please maintain I'll direct eye contact with SCP-173, and... It said, as Steve Wilkos was killed! And now, I was next. Oh, 
Oh, I said. I am so fucked. I began trying to return to my room. It was my only safe point. I didn't know what to do. Keep your eyes on I decided to run and stay safely by the door. My only my only thing I could do was run down the stairs. I didn't know what was going on. Holy Jesus. Okay, it's just a lie. Oh, shit already died in here. I found a door that opened and I pressed it and I ran quickly through the hallway, hoping to find another door. I didn't know what to expect. I could hear the cries of other people screaming in terror. The doors open with these. I found myself in a dark hallway. And I really, really didn't want to open any of the doors. But what choice did I have? I was imprisoned. I quickly entered inside of a broom closet. But I knew it would only be so good. I quickly found a piece of paper note thing. And I went to go read it to figure out what is going on. The various systems similar to trouble. And transducer. Right? Oh, he got fucked up. Alright, so, basically, it goes from being really cool to being a big-ass base where I don't know where the fuck anything is, and then I got all these pieces of paper that have all these fucking measurements that I couldn't fucking tell you what the fuck it is. It could be like 2.2 .2 meters. In my head, I don't know what the fuck 2.2 .2 meters is. I don't know if it's like 20 dicks glued to each other or what the fuck, Tom. At 250 kg, I don't... Gotta also, I guess, memorize a bunch of this shit, too. Primary method of luring prey is the imitation of human speech in the voices of prior victims. Oh, this thing sounds like an asshole. Vocalizations often imply significant distress. Whether SP whatever understands their vocalizations or are repeating previously heard phrases in the subject of an author. So it's basically a fucked up parrot fucking monster, right? A fucking fucked up parrot monster. Oh well. It's XL minute traces of aerosolized class C whatever the f It's Eminem saying fuck the aerosol layer and spray two ozone cans at ozone cans. Fucking aerosol cans at it. Oh wait, it's aerosolized? Oh, they fucking. They breathe for breeze. That's nice. Risk of exposure is greatly reduced but not negligible. formation with an close an average of 30 minutes. It is colorless, odorless, and tasteless weather. Okay, so I'm never gonna know when the fuck it's happening until like weird shit happens. And with my mind, I'm not gonna remember this shit. Recre oh, so people use this thing's gases recreationally. Hey yo dude, SPC 939 yo, why don't you go over to my place man, we're having a party. Yo, we wanna get all freaky and see weird shit again. You wanna come over? <laughs> oh fuck yeah dude come over oh fuck yeah dude come over whoa dude that sounds just like me I'm gonna kill you oh radical alright oh this is a confidential sheet I think it should actually say I'm classified or something. I don't even know alright um, I'm gonna stop the video and go smoke and piss and when I come back we'll continue this nightmare Yup. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, where is the fucking... Okay, I need this program. Alright, there's a knocking at the door. I apologize. There's fucking people. Whatever. Alright, so... I'm in the army, and my biggest thing... Is that I can't remember acronyms. And I can't remember a whole bunch of fucking information at once. It's like, they'll be like, Alright, soldier, where's your FAG level 1? I'll be like, my what? Where's your pen 15 level 2? What the fuck? Plus, I got all this information in front of me that's like a fucking technical fucking manual, a TM, 
I ain't gonna remember all this shit, so I'm fucked already. This is a creepy pasta for me. Cause they have all my weaknesses already. You know what? Fuck it. Let's let's just get this over with. Let me make sure this shit is record okay, it's recording. Okay, we're good. We're fucking good. Okay. Resume. I finished reading the paper. At this moment I knew I was in trouble. I would get gazed at the door in front of me. I was worried. I felt I had to blink. I didn't know whether I should continue or just hide. That SBC was going to stay in my mind. I found a battery, a 9 volt. I wondered if I should lick it. I didn't know what in the world to do with it, but I took it with me. I said, THIS IS FUCKING BULLSHIT! FUCK! Very loudly. out the door and looked around the corners. Achievement unlocked. The infinite loop. I don't know why that popped in my brain in that vision. The infinite loop. For some reason it seemed familiar. I'd much rather be in an infinite loop than have to continually face these monsters. I unlocked another door. It was nothing but darkness. Luckily the fog went away. I gazed at an SPC object class, Euclid, Cognahazard. The door that was once unlocked was now, the door that was once locked was now unlocked. I felt that I must conquer my fear and subject myself to whatever this beast had. There was no way to open the door, there was no button. I assumed it had already gotten in. My assumption was right. I quickly went up against the wall. I knew that I was going to have to go against this beast. I remembered that the thing had told me that it messes with your brain and get as far away from it as possible. That's what I attempted to do. I found another door and attempted to open it. to my little room and decided this was stupid so I tried to go to the next door near me. I found myself in a room that I had just left. It was time to start going through doors that I had not opened before. I ended to a hallway that I didn't remember. This was a good sign. This is fucking horse shit! I exclaimed loudly as I found another door that was unopenable. This was useless. Danger. No trust, but no passing when the Tulsa gate is activated. There was no way I was gonna get out. It was just me and whatever this beast had in store. Fuck you, you fucking bitch! Stop fucking with me! How do I get a fucking key? Why the fuck? Is we have all these different lights everywhere and they're not where- Oh wait, that's right, we don't have fucking power. The fucking whatever the fuck fucked it up. But of course, you know, you got a bunch of really fucked up monsters and you're trying to hold them behind steel and concrete. Oh, when is anything ever gonna go wrong? Especially when you start testing them on fucking prisoners. Good God. I exclaimed loudly again. The door wouldn't open. I knew the game it was playing. Good thing I listened to- Mr. Creepypasta and kind of knew what to do. I didn't like it, though. These flickering lights, man. These flickering lights. Why am I lost, man? I said to myself inside of my head. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, okay. I saw shit move from behind that door. Like that classic N64 arm goes through a wall shit. There's definitely something behind this door, I said very loudly. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, hey, infinite loop. Oh, Christ. Okay, so I got this 9-volt battery, right, guys? So what the fuck do I do? I said loudly to absolutely nobody. You know what? I think I have a fucking idea, I said in my head. Let's try this. Hey, roommate. Hey, roommate, what do I do?
Roommate, I am stuck in an infinite loop. You are my lifeline. Every time I go through doors, I end up in other places I've been before. All I have is a nine ball. Oh, God. I came. I. You should find items to look and then something grabbed me and broke my fucking neck as I walked into a room that had a caution sign above my head with red lighting. Dude, seriously. Like, really? It, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm still fucking recording. Dude, like, okay, the only thing that breaks my neck is that weird thing. But it wasn't there. Okay, okay, now I gotta go back into creepypasta mode, because, like, now I'm starting the game again. From wherever I last ran away from, I said to myself, to nobody else. Oh, now the FPS is 46, I said to myself. I can't... Safe designation, okay. Now I don't hear nothing at all. Oh my god. Okay. Quit. Load game. Load. Let's see what this does. of rooms are- OH FUCKER GO BACK! Okay, so I'm fucking with the 970 phenomenon. Further example, the uh, with blank- of sector 19, so I guess I'm in sector- Okay, here we go, now it's fucking working. I said to myself, whoa, why is that grate just there for no reason? I attempt to run through random doors in order to escape from whatever the fuck might be pursuing me. Scared. I dashed quickly to the button and pressed it to no avail. Nothing was happening. Everybody was dead. I could not find a single living person. This was how I was gonna die. My run like a pussy meter fucking went down to where it didn't even work anymore. I kinda wanted to look where that one thing once was, but for some reason I thought maybe I shouldn't do that and it wouldn't be even be funny. I see blood through the security cameras. I could hear strange voices that sounded like bands I would listen to. I saw the lamp that I once mistaken for a monster with blood by it. Is this lamp an SPC or is it not? I don't know. All I knew was that I was going to be attacked soon. All efforts were futile. I tried to use a TM, but I couldn't grab one. This beast knew every weakness that I had. And there was no way to fight them. Not even with military issued weapons. None of the buttons worked. I tried to go to a door, I don't know if I touched on or whatever, and I went through it. It was time to begin the phenomenon. I decided to go through a different door. Perhaps a different beast that would be so much of a problem. to get far enough away from whatever was tormenting me. I tried using the fucking 9-volt battery to no avail. Alright, this is fucking bullshit, I said loudly. I gotta figure out my way through this infinite loop bullshit. And, oh, oh, no, 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 fuck that. Fuck. Oh! I just fell through the fucking... Roommate, I don't know... I don't know how to explain what just happened. No. Okay. So. 
I saw that caution door when I was about to just run through, and I was like, oh, no, so I backed up, and then everything began sinking, and now everything went black, and now I'm in a room that looks like something from, like, Doom. It's like, I got all these doors all around me, and it's all, like, bricks, like, creepy-ass bricks. Stop laughing! This is not funny! This is my life that's on the line. All right. Oh, that's never good. All right, fuck it. I think I have a head concussion. My head's cocked. Okay, now my head's going the right way. I began walking to the abyss, not knowing what to expect. I gazed behind me, and then I heard a demonic voice go, ha, 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 as I instantly warped into a new area. Everything was blurry. I knew the SPC was fucking with my mind, but I had to admit, this was the best I ever. I opened a door. All I saw was blackness and loud noises. I decided to close that fucking door and that that was not the best option to take. I began to go into dialogue. This is some fucking horse shit, but I'm high as fuck, so fuck it, let's do this. You know what? I'm gonna go through this weird- What the fuck?! A room with red tent and one pillar, and I don't want to look behind me because I know something's gonna try and fuck me up. My guy can't get his head straight. And all I have is a 9 volt battery. Oh my god. Everything is fucking red, dude. My, high, my guy is high as shit. There's nothing in this room I can... That's it! I just gotta use the 9 volt battery. It didn't do shit. At this point... Okay... I'm okay. Oh! I, I closed my eyes and I saw a weird face. This was not good, I thought, in my head. After I got done yelling... I decided to go to the corner and cry and hide. Close my eyes over and over until something would change. I couldn't believe what was going on. I decided to just keep my eyes closed. I take a nap. It didn't do any good. All I could hear was the loud banging again of my feet against the ground. Which is weird because I didn't remember being so heavy. And now the 3D looking ass thing that I was looking at before now has become two dimensional. I don't know what to do at this point. It is all a hallucination. Maybe I can just go back, feel my way to the doorknob, and leave this hell. To no avail. What am I supposed to do? And I had no TM to tell me what to do. exclaimed loudly as everything became more and more blurry. I knew something bad was about to happen. I closed my eyes and see the face again, only to reopen them. See, I'm just getting more and more blurried. When is this thing just gonna kill me? Okay, like, really, what the fuck do I do? This is fucking stupid! I'm in a room with absolutely fucking lootly nothing, no clues, no hints, nothing to lead me in the direction I need to go. You are feeling weak from the blood loss. No. No, I said loudly. What is going on? I close my eyes. I do not want to see my fate. I see an SPC above me. I try to look away. Nothing does anything. I remember the battery. I began trying to use the battery. The battery does do bullshit. Everything's fuck. What the fucking shit? I'm in a ditch. Where am I? This is a product of my imagination. Oh my god. What do I do? Close my eyes. Close my eyes. It's not doing shit. Go the other way. What the fuck? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. No, stop it. Fucking quit. What the fuck? Fuck goddamn our faces. How am I supposed to do anything? Battery. I'll just lick this battery. I'll continuously lick the battery. Oh. Uh, now I threw away the notes that I need. Oh, I picked them up. Uh, achievement unlocked. Escape, uh, escape monopolist. Escape ecologist. What do you mean escape ecologist? I still fucking died. All right. No, and now it's at load game. I need a walkthrough. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this game at some other point in time. Edit this video and go from there. And maybe I'll let my roommate try it. So maybe he can. This is some crazy shit. This is, yeah, the, the, you, 
I can't ex words can't explain this game, dude. Okay. Sounds like you're in a puzzle game. Oh, this is more than a puzzle game. This is fuck me running naked. Why did I fucking download this? <laughs> 